Hi guys, it's your girl Nay here. Welcome back to Miss Naturally Nay. So today is Friday and of course I'm bringing you guys a tutorial. And this is the look. It goes off the scarf. Um, really quickly before we get into the, tutor into the tutorial. Um, in the video that I posted yesterday called um, Life Cam Deboxing, I expressed that you can watch my videos in 1080p HD. Uh, scratch that okay you can watch my videos in 720p HD um, the video yesterday was not in HD so you couldn't um, I didn't upload it in HD so you couldn't watch it in HD and I'm sorry about that but this video I um, figured all of that out and uh, you can actually watch my videos in 720 HD um, I have to figure out how to do the 10 80 HD but um, as of right now 720 is the way to go and you'll still see everything clear as day so um, on to the tutorial and make sure you watch it in 720p HD so you don't miss a thing if you are interested in this look please stay tuned all right hi guys this is the look that we're going for um, it's not completed, but this is um, where we're going to get um, to just in a little bit. So, um, really quickly, I already prepped and primed my face, and what I use to prime my face is Wet n Wild's Intuitive Blend. Um, it's a foundation and primer, shade adjusting foundation and primer. Sorry, guys, that that's blurry. Um, and then the foundation that I use is also another drugstore bought. It's CoverGirls Clean um, Normal Skin. Uh, again, it's not adjusting. Come on, camera. But um, it's 155 Soft Honey. So I would definitely recommend this. It works really, really well. Um, I already did my eyebrows. As you guys already know, I have a lot of eyebrows. I have very full eyebrows, so I don't really need to do anything with them I just shape them accordingly I already prime my eye um, put the base on my eye and the base that I use is mixed jumbo pencil and milk You're the brightest star. and let's begin all right so as you already know I'm using my so, BH Cosmetics palette in the first edition, guys. It ooh, it's going through hell and high waters now because I've used it so often. So now it doesn't look as pretty. But I'm going to be using these are the palettes, and this is what the palettes look like. See how much better you guys can see that now. Woo. All right. So the first thing that I'm using, the first color that I'm going to be using, is a mixture of. A red and a sort of cranberry color this one right here and I'm going to be mixing it with this sort of cranberry color right here and um, I'm going to be taking this this large tapered brush from shiny cosmetics you guys should check out their site it's really really good okay so I'm just gonna dip my brush into that red And I want more of this red, so I'm going to be concentrating on, on that. And then I'm going to dip it into the darker red. Alright. Got my handy dandy mirror. Alright. And then what I'm going to be doing is angling my brush from the outside of my lash line. And I'm going up to make that kind of wing shape. See on this side? there's actually a bit of an angle it's blended out but you want to make that angle and then I'm going to bring that across into the crease a little bit <laughs> By the way, you guys are listening to Neo's The Way You Move featuring T-Pain and Trey Songs. My husband. But yeah. 
All right, so now that you have that down, um, put that brush away. And I'm going to be taking a smaller tapered brush. This is also by Shiny Cosmetics. You can see that? And I'm going to be going in with an orange. The orange that I'm using today is this one right here. Um, it's a, it's kind of like a, a, a harvesty pumpkin orange, as you can see right here. Okay? And I'm just going to take that orange, and I really want to take a good amount of that onto the brush because we're going to be putting that right on the lid. See it go, cause the way you move. All right, so now you're going to take that and you're going to put that on to the lid right next to the um, cranberry burgundy sort of mix that you made. I'm actually going to take an orange that is similar to that that's not too far that was just around um, off of it and pat that orange on to it it's a lot brighter as you can see a lot brighter but um, we're gonna fix that really quickly so we go back with that with that harvest orange and what we do is now that this orange is um, is there it's going to bring out the harvest orange and it makes it look very very pretty okay see now we're going to take the the large brush that we were using before and we're going to do the same mixture that we used before because we lost some of that red okay and we're just going to go over the um, the red. Make sure that you have that angle. You don't want to lose it. And we're going to go into the crease. Okay. So, you see where we're at now? So, I'm taking a angled brush. And this one is not by Shandy Cosmetics. I just got this at the drugstore, um, but it works It works well enough for me. So I'm just going to take that angled brush, and I'm going to go in with another mixture of this brown right here. And this is closest to my, flesh, my skin tone. And then this brown right here, which is just maybe a shade darker. And I'm going to go into the crease area, directly into the crease area. And you want to go over, you're going, you're purposely going over that cranberry color. Now you want to work on your inner tear duct. I'm going to be taking this very small taper, tapered brush here. This is by Shani Cosmetics. All my Shani Cosmetics brushes have um, red handles, so you'll know the difference. And I am going in with a goldish color. I need the camera to focus back on more. Okay, so this gold color right here, and I'm just going to take that onto my brush, and I'm going on my inner tear duct. And there you go. See? We just transformed this eye into this eye. Now, I got some of the red... Um, under the crease that's okay you can take a wet wipe and just dust that off I didn't really need to so there there you go now you want some of that color underneath your your eyelid so I'm going to go in again with my jumbo pencil and milk and I'm just gonna go on my lash line Okay. 
And I'm going to take that same small tapered brush that I used for my inner tear duct. And I'm going to go in with each color and just follow that pattern. All right, so see, beautiful color underneath the eye. All right, now that is all for the shadows, so you can put your palette away. And that also is all for your eyeshadow brushes, so you can put those away as well. Okay, so now what you wanna do is water your, um, line your waterline, and I'm using Wet n Wild's um, just black store-bought liner. Okay, see? Alright. Then what you do, what I'm going to do is put on my eyeliner and my mascara and I will be right back with the finished eye look and show you what I do with my cheeks and the rest of my face, okay? Alright guys, I'm back and um, here is your finished eye look. Of course you could put on falsies but I don't use them so I just put on mascara and um, I don't even use a lot of mascara but I do do the two mascaras because that's how you get the longest wear so my first mess this first mascara that I use is by L'Oreal I do not remember the name I don't have the carton I'm sorry so when you go to the store just look for this one if you want to try this okay um, and I do two coats of that, and then I do one coat of Maybelline's The Falsies and The Purple Tube Volume Express. And that's all I do for my eyes. <laughs> so, as for my cheeks. Oh, eyeliner. Sorry, guys. Um, I use the Wet n Wild um, Mega Liner. Okay. Alright, so cheeks. Um, I don't do much contouring at all. I mean, I'm just going to class, so I don't really worry about contouring and stuff. But um, I do kind of do a little bit of, you know. Anyway, so for my bronzer, what I'm going to be using is Ice Cappuccino by, that's a glare, um, Ice Cappuccino by CoverGirl. And it's actually a blush, but I'm going to use it as um, a little bit of a bronzer. Um, for blush, what I'm going to be using is Wet n Wild's um, Heather Silk. And it's a really pretty um, sort of mauve um, blush. I'm taking my brush brush, Shady Cosmetics. And smile. And I'm going to be using another blush as my highlight. This is by CoverGirl. It's called it's called Natural Glow in um, 570. It's a really, really pretty nice blush. Um, it's close to my skin tone, so um, I could just use it, but I like to use it as a, um, as a natural highlight. Let me just put that right here.
that is it for your cheeks. the finale um i was contemplating what i wanted to do i do have a good bit going on with my eyes but because they're um earth tony colors and they're brighter i decided to do a darker type of lip so i'm going to be lining my lip with clean color um natural And then I'm going to be taking Wet n Wild Chocolicious. It's 914C Chocolicious. Now I want a more of a cherry-ish effect, so what I'm going to be doing is taking Cherry Bomb. This is um, 918D Cherry Bomb by Wet n Wild, and this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to go over that, um, that Mochalicious. I don't know how many times I did that, did that for this video. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope that you guys recreate this look. Um, if you do, make sure to post pictures or um, on, you know, in response or response videos to let me see what um what you guys came up with okay so until next time which would be next friday i guess um hugs and kisses x's and o's <laughs>